Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Save the progress there. Perfect. Low-key scares me that there's one right there. I, I didn't even see it. I just thought it was an open gap. Well, no, let's like look at the open gap. You're in the stairway. Resident Evil. Jill, you're alive. I was worried because I thought you were... Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Oh shit. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he'll help us. Thanks, Jill. Trust dude, we're trusting him. Maybe we can push these. Are you gonna thank you for shooting? Yes, yeah, 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 yes. Good shot, good shot, good shot, good shot, my dude. And she's knocked down, hell yeah. Okay. Oh, that's very close. Oh, dude, he's actually helping me a lot right now. I'm glad I decided to give him his gun. What'd that do? It just opened the doors. Okay. <laughs> hey, Barry. Want to talk now? I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. Uh uh. After what he just did? All right. Well, I guess we are. Particular depression. There's an eagle. Ah. All right. Here we go. Eagle shaped. We got her. We got to go to an item box, but we know what to use. All right. Where the magic happens, break into the laboratory using Jill. Oh, great. That sounds like a whole other chapter to me. I got, oh, okay. Another one of those discs. Interesting. Some kind of acid. Now if you can just release the locks and the levers. Okay. Aha! David Clark. Clark David, rather. Researcher's letter. June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I will give anything not to become... Not to have, to, not have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material room from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do not, please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log in and system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in the basement level two where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded the password into an x-ray Rowentago Ro fuck me. That's a word. Rowent again Ro Rowent Genogram? Fuck. I know you, and I'm sure you'll be able to work it out without any trouble. There is just one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. Ada John. Got it. Fuck. Uh, there's something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, 
place the initials in alphabetical order. <sighs> Colon and the, is that the liver? Boy, a doctor would be really nice right now. Colon and liver are glowing. Okay. All right. Oh shit. V act researchers note. There's now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The hosts eventually mutate into a humanoid creature. We call them VX. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. The termination is definitely not an option. We have finally decided to freeze all the specimen and can find the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Oh, okay. Shit. We can do that one. Fuck. I don't know what's happening. Hit this again. Colon. That changed. Hold up. C, E, liver, cell. I don't know what the last one is. Lungs. L. Oh, cell. Like, ah, uh, like Dragon Ball. Let's fucking go. That's easy for me to remember. I guess I didn't have those things up when it was red earlier. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I was hoping you would turn around. Back to sanitation, raccoon. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's try it again. To Sanitation Division, Manager of Sanitation, Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. Well, they didn't fucking do that, did they? We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been affected by the T-virus and died. It also has been reported that almost all the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Our second concern, our sec secret security pa patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunately, these casualties underscore the success of research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and stars. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Damn, okay. Uh, if you had an MO disc, I do. We need three discs. Got it. Warning, fuel may explode if, oh God. The other MO disc will fit in that. Now we're locked, so we need, we need three MO discs. I've done a very shit job managing all my items. When we do the crisp playthrough, I feel like I should be better at it because we'll have a better understanding on how that shit works. All right, John. Ada. Cell. Cool. Wasn't it right over here? Yeah, it's right there. I thought it was. Like, what the hell? Won't let me do it? Well, fucking shit game. 
I thought 100% sure it'd be enter three MO discs and then bomb and then basement two would have another disc. Whatever. What the fuck ever, man? What the fuck ever? What the fuck ever? What the fuck ever? What the fuck, 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 fuck ever. So I, I took my webcam off. I'm not sure if I should have. Look, there's Neptune. That's a shark. The hunter. Tyrant. We haven't faced that one yet. Bioorganic weapons research group. Development staff. That's fucking Wesker on the right. Oh God. Eight, three, four, one, seven, oh, six, two. All right. We're taking a picture of that one. So now it's the same slide, but in red. Ha <laughs> ha. breeze. Okay. Yeah. Build the shark. Neptune. Hunter is the hunter. Tyrant. Same group of people. Definitely Wesker on the right. Oh God. Eight, four, six, two. Okay. Is she not going to mention the fact that her fucking coworker was in that fucking thing? Like actually though, just doesn't give a fuck. I would give a fuck. Big fucking red flag. According to me. Oh, heliport for executive use only. The restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Passes to heliport slash entry is prohibited unless accompanied by the consult consultant research or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on site. Elevator slash the elevator stops during emergencies. Visual data room for use by the special research division only. All other access to visual data room must be cleared with Keith Arvin, room manager. Prison sanitation division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith. Emmett Smith? There's fucking Wesker's name again, by the way. Must be present if viral use is authorized. Triple lock door entry slash entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all the pass codes. Access and the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers deactivate the lock. Read that again. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers. Got it. In this room, nitro compound is used as a primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to the headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Uh, you said that this authorized senior researchers basement level four regarding the progress of tyrant after the administration of T virus illegal, illegal, eligible, Ill eligible, eligible hereafter. Just like my speech. And figured she would come at the fact that fucking Wesker was there, but you know, see, look, it's a fuck third MO disc. I'm angry. That has to be. That's the only thing I fucking the game just said. Nah, fuck you. Oh, uh, we took a picture of this. Eight four six two. Aha! A oh, laboratory key. Okay. Yeah, I'll view Kenneth's film. Uh, Get away from me! Uh, no! Hey! Uh, no! Ah! I'll be honest with you, Kenneth. I think you're just a bad shot. Key to the power area. Lock them both. And get rid of the key. Hell yeah. That's how you do it, guys. That's how you do it. Shotgun shells. Oh, we can climb things. Into the vent. Full of antitoxins. That's nice. Shelf is full of... Oh, okay. Aha! Another disc to put in. We do need all three. Okay. Cool. Fucking umbrella didn't take fucking good care of the shit, did they? Nerd. There's just noises going on in my right ear right now. Hey, bud. Oh, you miss. Oh, fuck. I got to reload. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't miss. 
Oh, I am not doing hot right now. What, would you just not shoot him now? There we go. Okay, lab self-destruct mechanism is huge. Yeah, I imagine. This is the self-destruct area then. There's no power to the main elevator. Start it up. Yes. This one won't initialize. It appears we need some kind of fuel to get started. All right. Gotcha. So we need fuel. So that one area had fuel, but also said it could explode. So that was fun. So we're gonna have to carry that shit and not explode, I guess. Excuse me while I open up the last room. Thank you. Or the locked room, whatever. Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. This is where we got to go to the fuel. Okay. We have to take this, go to that one area, bring it back to get power. Also, those locked doors are now open. It might explode. So we have to walk there? It'll take forever. Like a refueling device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Main ingredient of this fuel appears to be nitro compound. Running, it could result. Okay, yes. Yeah, so yeah, that's what I thought. Well, dude, we can tank control this. Let's go. Just like the original game. We're going to fucking tank control this bitch. Yeah, yeah, set the capsule. There we go. Now we can run. It actually controlled so much better <laughs> with the with the tank control, actually. Okay. Oh right, yeah, let's hit it. Cool. Elevator's working. Thank you. Jill. Barry. You could have at least waited up for it, you know? Let's go. So what about that one room with the switches? Like, are we doing anything with that or? Wesker. Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <laughs> You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry. <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh. <sighs> Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. <laughs> Barry! 
forgive me? No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! <laughs> Jill and Barry, together. In hell. You want a piece of me? What? Premature. Viral cultured freak. Uh, okay. Remember that self defense gun? In case of an emergency, great. Okay. Uh, right. Oh my goodness, he hit me twice. He hit me twice. <laughs> Just keep running, dude. I don't know. It looks like I used the modern staff with the creatures inside the capsules. This is definitely one of the creepy things you've ever seen. Yeah. What about the thing behind me that just stabbed me? That's not creepy at all. Is he dead? There's no way. Barry. Barry. Uh, you're okay. Uh, Jill. Sorry. Was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. <sighs> okay. How about the self destruction destruction sequence? Should I go back downstairs real quick and uh go to the uh thing? Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> I still have that one door to open. That I did not go through. The MO discs, you know? Is that where I need to go? It makes sense. I already did it, though. Grab everything I got. All the guns and shit. Give me this, because I... Boom. Magnum ammo, I guess, can come in. We're not going to use that. We're out of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got the big dogs out, dog. Save the game. I mean, I don't know how many ink ribbons we have left, but we have enough to save the game. Our 30th save. All three. Perfect. The lock. Why would you tell me the lock is released? That is so dumb. Just let me fucking through the door. Jill. Chris, you're okay. Glad to see you are too. Anything on Wesker? We'll talk later. First, let's get going. Guys, it's Chris, and I got an achievement saying sorry for the wait. Interesting. He's the other playable character. Come on, let's go. Was that necessary? Shotgun shells? We don't have the shotgun on us. And that was a lot of... Okay. I didn't expect that. 
Oh, <laughs> look at them with the same animation coming to save the day. All three of us. Let's go, dude. They're all fucked. Whatever this last boss is, they're about to get. What the fucking hell? Use unit? Okay. Use unit. Oh. Conveniently just got it. I think I had fucking item space. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just get in contact with Brad. No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Friss! Would you let me have my moments too? All right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. I really like him saying uh, ladies first. Not gonna lie to us. Not gonna lie to you. Don't like how there's a fucking timer in a loading screen, essentially. That's great. Thanks. I bet that was real fun in the, in the PlayStation 1 and GameCube days. <laughs> what the fuck is this? The signal rockets? Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. I just put them down here. Do I use them here? This makes sense. Jill! You made it! There's no way. Oh, that was disappointing. Oh my God. <laughs> what a shot. Oh my God, Barry's dead. Jill, use it. Kill it, whatever it is. All right, going for it. Who, who draw? Who gave me this? Ah, there it is, guys. Finish the game using Jill. Oh, I got a little emotional. <laughs> that was fun, dude. Fuck. Holy shit. All right. I got some things to say. This game is beautiful. <laughs> this is a, in the, in nowadays, this is probably like an eight out of 10. This came out in 2000 fucking two. And the original game came out, what? 96, 97, 98, 95, somewhere around there. Holy fuck. Cause there's a remake of the PlayStation one. God damn son. <laughs> God damn. And I want to say this is modern time would be an eight. In fact, if this came out in 2002, I don't think I'd ever put it down if I well, had a GameCube or a PlayStation 1, I guess. Holy fuck. If you haven't played this game, fucking play it. 
Unless you're just really bad at puzzles, which I know people that are, but holy fuck. We're gonna let the credits roll out, then we're probably gonna play uh, Chris's story here in a minute. But god damn. Fuck me, that was good. That was really fucking good. Jill, you did a fine job. I did a fine job, guys. I did a fine job that took me nine hours to do. I just got a bunch of trophies. Finish the game on easy difficulty, higher was probably normal difficulty or higher because I played on normal. Thank you for watching. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe for more content. Comment down below and check the description for links such as the Discord.